All right, good morning to and how are you? Happy Thursday to you. It is Thursday, the 16th of April, meaning it's the 16th day of the fourth month of the year 2020. For English, we're going to continue to practice with what we learned yesterday, homophones, okay? Now, homophones can be a bit tricky, so I see that some people have done their work and uploaded it, and it looks good so far, so I will check it, okay? But just keep practicing today, all right? So let's continue. Homophones. Homophones have the same sound, but different spelling and different meaning, okay? So you did a good job with the ones that I spoke to yesterday. We did some of that. Okay, so homophones have the same sound, but different spelling and different meaning. If we read these two words, it says two, two, but which two is which, okay? Our, our, here in this word, the H is silent. It does not say it's sound, okay? Two, two, our, our, nose and nose, okay? So you know the word knows, and you know the word knows. He knows, she knows, and they sound the same, but clearly they have different spelling and different meanings. Okay, so same sound, different spelling, different meanings. For example, this gift is for you. But then I can also say I have four cats. So again, we have two different words with different spelling and meaning but they sound the same. How do we know the difference? When to use them? It depends on what we're talking about, it doesn't it, okay? I would not say this gift is for you, okay? So you have to make sure when you're reading, when you're writing, and when you're spelling, okay, that you use here, or even when you're speaking, you use the correct word, okay? So let's explore some more homophones. We have C and C, C, C. Now one is the C where you can go swimming in. The other one is the C, the verb, the action that your eyes do, okay? We sailed in the sea. Can you see the boat? Okay, so try to keep practicing making sentences with these words. Hmm, you can pause the video if you want and go ahead and see if you can think of anything to make a sentence with C and C. How about road and road, okay? Here we have the past tense of ride. I ride a horse, but yesterday I rode a horse, okay? So Lucas rode his horse. The road is winding through the field, and the road is where we can drive our car, okay? Try to make a sentence using these words as well. One and one. Hmm. The number one, and I won. The past tense of the word win. Jonas had one cookie. Tammy won the trophy, okay? So again, we're talking about the number and then we're talking about an action, okay? Can you make a sentence using these words? Then we have blue and blue, okay? The color and the past tense of the word blow, okay? I am wearing blue shoes. Good, we use blue as an adjective as well. And he blew out the candles. Okay, well done. Can you write a sentence using these words? Hmm. Eight and eight. Some of you did this one yesterday with me as well. I ate breakfast, the number eight. This eight is the past tense of the word eat. I eat now, I ate breakfast this morning or yesterday. We ate lunch at noon. I read eight books, okay? See if you can write a sentence using these words as well. You can just do them in your head or just saying them out loud, okay? Night and night, okay? We have the night where we go to sleep 
And then we have the knight where it's a nice tall soldier. Lola's laughing at me. <laughs> okay. The star shone brightly at night. The knight is wearing armor. Okay, so they sound the same, but they're very different, aren't they? Can you make a sentence using these words? Just try to say them out loud. Hair and hair. It's a very common one that people tend to make a mistake with because it's a nice A sound, okay? Hair and hair, okay? Melissa has long hair, okay? So her hair. Now, another word for a rabbit, a bigger rabbit, is what we would call hair. The hare lost the race to the tortoise, okay? Hare and hare. Can you make a sentence using these words? Write and write. I like to write sentences. I need to go to the right. So write your name on the paper, please. Take a right at the end of the road. Again, we have two words, homophones, that sound the same, but they're very different. Ooh, can you make a sentence using those two? Bear and bear. I saw a brown bear in the woods. I dipped my bare feet in the river. Bear means no clothes, nothing, okay? Can you make a sentence using these words? Male and male. Hmm, do you guys know what this male means? Male here means man, okay, boy. When we say female, it means woman or girl, okay? So this is man. I have so many male friends. Mom picks up the mail every day. Mail is all the correspondence, all of the letters and maybe the bills that you get in the, in the mailbox, okay, that someone delivers to you, okay? We also use mail more as email nowadays, okay? I think you know what email is. See if you can make a sentence using these two. Now let's match them, okay? If we can match here, be, wear, son, here. We did some of these yesterday, so let's see how we can do it now. Okay, the word be. We have wear, son, be here. Be and be, okay? To be, and this one here is the animal, the insect, the bee, okay? Here we have where. Where are you going? And we're going to match it to the where here. Where? I wear clothes, I wear a dress, okay? And then here we have sun. There it is, give me one second, it is frozen as usual. Oh, I lost my mouse, here we go, okay. Here we go, so now we have sun and sun, okay? He is my sun. The sun shines very bright in the sky, it's a very hot day. I hope the sun comes out today, okay? And then we have here and here. So here and here, boom, okay? Excellent. We'll erase those, excellent job. And here we go, next one. More matching, meet, two, weak, high, two, weak, high, meet, okay? So what we can do there is we're going to see Meat is like the meat that you eat. Oh, that rhymes. We have chicken, we have hamburger. All of that is meat, right? And that one's going to be matched here with meat as in nice to meet you, okay? Then we have two, the number two. We can match it to this preposition, which we can say, where are you going to? Okay, when are you going to eat? All right, and then we have weak. Weak is the opposite. This weak is the opposite of strong. I'm weak, I'm not strong, okay? And it matches to weak as in days of the week, okay? Here we have high and high, high. And then we have high as in how high can you go? Here we go, well done.
So it's your turn now to make sentences. Remember that homophones sound exactly the same, but they have different spellings and meanings. Now, your task is very simple. Finish the task from yesterday because I know that was quite long. If you want to finish a task from yesterday, that is okay. If you have, listen, if you have already finished and you want some more practice, you may write sentences for the next homophones, okay? But it's completely up to you, okay? You can finish a task from yesterday and just keep practicing those. Or if you want some more practice today because you finished what we did yesterday, then you can write new sentences, okay? It's okay, whatever you feel is more comfortable for you. Don't feel like you're overwhelmed and overloaded, just keep practicing, okay? Excellent, so you can make a sentence for hair and hair, pear and pear, sun and sun, peak, peak. Peak means the top of the mountain, okay? Top of the mountain, and then we have peak as in peekaboo. We have eight and eight, and that is it, okay? So that is what you are going to be doing today. Well done, thank you so much. And let me know if you have any questions um, or any concerns or if you need some help, I'm here to help you, okay? Thank you, have a good day.